Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. If you're an Elden Ring fan, you're in for a treat today. We're diving deep into the newly discovered lore from the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Trust me, this will change everything you thought you knew about Elden Ring. So grab your rune arcs and let's get started. Alright, let's set the stage. Elden Ring's base game already has a complex and rich lore, but Shadow of the Earth Tree takes it to a whole new level. The DLC brings to light new mysteries, especially around the enigmatic character Mikwela. So, who is Mikwela and why is he so important? In the base game, Mikwela is a bit of a mystery. We know he's the twin brother of Malenia and that he's been trapped in a cocoon, but the DLC reveals so much more. Shadow of the Earth Tree uncovers Mikuela's true intentions and his plan to ascend to godhood by entering the Shadow Realm. This isn't just a side quest, it's a revelation that redefines the entire lore of Elden Ring. Now let's talk about the new character, Metter, Mother of Fingers. This character is introduced as the first child of the Greater Will, one of the outer gods influencing the lands between. Metter's desperation to reconnect with the Greater Will drives her mad, and she's the one who entices Mikwala to seek godhood in the Shadow Realm. This adds a whole new layer to the story, explaining the chaotic nature of the world and the ongoing conflicts. Completing the Count Emir questline in the DLC is another game changer. Emir's dialogue and the final boss fight reveal crucial details about the Greater Will and the Two Fingers. It turns out that Matter was abandoned by the Greater Will, which explains her madness and manipulative actions. This recontextualizes the role of the Two Fingers and their influence over the Tarnished. The final boss fight in Shadow of the Earth Tree is a real eye-opener. We face promised consort Radon in a climactic battle that reveals Miquela's true motives. Miquela's goal is to overthrow the Greater Will and the Earth Tree, aiming to break the cycle of chaos brought about by his mother Merica. If successful, Miquela would bring true peace to the lands between, making the Age of Stars ending the only good ending in the game. This makes us question our role as the Tarnished. Are we heroes or are we perpetuating an endless cycle of power struggles? Shadow of the Earth Tree casts a shadow on our motives, suggesting that unless we side with Rani and the Age of Stars, we might be the villains in this story. So there you have it. The Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC doesn't just add more gameplay, it completely reshapes our understanding of Elden Ring's lore. What do you think about these revelations? Are you excited or shocked by the new lore? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Elden Ring content. Until next time, keep exploring and uncovering those hidden secrets in the lands between.